guys, over the past two weeks, I've felt pretty low. My depression hit hard and that just led to non-stop emotional eating. When I say I ate off plan, that's a little bit of an understatement. I had french fries, I had a sub, I had free ice cream, I had a couple other things that I knew were really bad for me and I tried to hide it. I was too embarrassed to come and tell my truth that I make mistakes, but you know what? I need to remember, and I think we all need to remember, we're not robots. And if you have to restart your journey, it's okay. We all have to restart time and time again because none of us are ever going to be perfect. All we can try to do is be better each and every day. Here we are on week six of my Jenny Craig journey and I weigh Oh, wait, I can't tell you all my juicy secrets yet without first welcoming you to the channel where I talk about absolutely everything it takes to lose weight and feel great. You guys, I'm giving myself one year on the Jenny Craig program to lose this weight that I've been carrying around so long. If this sounds like something you'd love to hear more about, make sure you watch till the end of the video. I actually have a surprise in store. Let's get started. Okay, you guys, moving forward, we are going to have a new posting schedule. I will be uploading videos for you guys every Wednesday, whether I'm staying strong on plan or whether I slip and slide a little bit. You know what? I want you guys to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. And well, this right here is pretty ugly. Just a disclaimer, I didn't really get hit. This was for the video and to show that, you know what? The battle of the bulge, that fight can be pretty intense. Kind of like my makeup right now. But you guys, over the past couple weeks, I had been emotional eating and I knew I did it, but I didn't realize I did it so strong. Like, whenever I'm sad, I tend to come in here in my room, in my cozy place. Forgive me for wiping off my makeup, you guys, while we're talking, but hey, why not do both? Um, I come into my room, my cozy place, I'm comfortable, and I just want to be left alone with food and my Jesus music. But you know what, you guys? I can't keep coping with the stresses of life that way. I have to use a healthier outlet and it's way easier said than done. I can tell you right now, moving forward, I'm gonna exercise. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna crawl. And if I say that right now, I will be setting myself up for failure. And that's not what I wanna do. You guys, we have to focus on making little changes day by day. And what I'm focusing on this week are the positives. I set myself a goal. I think it's very important to set goals so you have something to achieve and look forward to. And it doesn't always have to be five pounds this week, three pounds this week, 10 pounds this week. You guys, I lose weight at the speed of like a tortoise crawling through peanut butter like on the hottest day of the year. Like it's just not gonna be a pretty sight. But you know what? I want to be someone who inspires others, who uplifts others. And if there are any other turtle speed weight losers out there like me, make sure you stick around because I want to show you guys that we can do this. We're all in this together. When it comes to setting goals, you guys, we have to remember that they need to be reasonable. Now, we all lose weight at different speeds. Some of us lose fast and some of us lose slow, like I said before. What goal are you going to set for yourself this week? Personally, I'm not going to set a weight loss goal, but I'm going to set a goal to stay on plan all week. No off-plan nibbles. If I feel like I need something, maybe I'll just pick up an extra Jenny Craig ice cream. Or if I feel like I'm just not full and sustained enough, I'm going to go and get me a cold water bottle. Make sure my refrigerator is packed with cold water because that's my thing. I like it. Or whatever else it is that I drink. You guys, find something little that you can stick to over the next week. If you know what that thing is already, let me know down in the comments below. I want to know what you're doing this week and how you're going to stick to plan. And if you're out there like me and you've restarted your journey a million times, it's okay. We're on week six. Yes, I cheated, but you know what? Cheaters never win. I know it sounds pretty corny and pretty cliche, but you guys, it's true. So this week, up until now, and through the rest of the week, I have been eating pretty well. Been staying on plan, and I've been eating lots of cucumbers. That's, that's kind of been my little thing this week, but it's working out for me. You guys, as my way of saying thank you for watching these videos and continuing to request videos and wanting to know more about my journey, I have a little surprise for you. Are you ready? So, you, you know what you guys, it's really hard to actually get all of this off. <laughs> but my surprise for you is this. My weight, after cheating a lot last week, getting back on plan this week and making sure I flush, flush, flush with water, making sure I had my morning poop. 
You guys, I weighed in at 263.6 pounds. All that stress eating, all that fear of getting back on the scale after slipping up more than a couple times over the span of a week. And you guys, I weigh the same as I did two weeks ago. So first, I gotta thank God for that. Thank you, Jesus, I didn't get away. And you guys, we gotta stop being so hard on ourselves. We can't beat ourselves up on the way down. We have to love ourselves the way that we are right now while we're trying to change our bodies, while we're trying to be healthier, while we're trying to lose weight. Yeah, <laughs> you guys, I thought I had something else to say right then, but that's that's from the heart right there. We just, me especially, but I'm sure there's someone out there like me, you have to love yourself on the way down while you're losing weight. Don't wait till you get to your goal body, your goal weight, your goal Daisy Duke size before you start to say, hey, I look good. You look good now. Dust yourself off, go drink some water, and let's get this show on the road. You can do this. Now, if you made it this far through the video with me looking crazy, wiping off my makeup, and doing all the things, there is another surprise that I have in store. Now, being that the world is kind of a crazy place right now, I am blessed enough to be able to give back. You guys, where I live in Arizona, Jenny Craig food costs, I believe it's $23 to $26 a day. I don't have the exact figures next to me, but I will put them either here or here. I would like to give back to all of my Jenny friends who follow my videos. All you need to do, leave a comment down below. Tell me what positive thing happened in your week. Tell me what little goal you're going to stick to and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. You guys, I want to pay for one day of Jenny Meals for you. Again, there will only be one winner and I will announce it at the beginning of my next video. I just wanna do something small to give back, to thank you guys for watching my channel, to thank you guys for sticking to it and trying to better your health, and for the push. For those who reached out and said, you know what, you got this, dust yourself off. You guys, this is a community. It's not about one being better than the other. It's about us all battling the bold together. So I would love to see who does that. And like I said, there will be one winner in our next video. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.